Aha! Welcome to another video coming at you straight from Alaska. Alaska. Next to the recycling center, they're over there crushing up metal shit to send it to the lower 48 to be recycled because that makes sense gas grows on trees come on dude hurry up <laughs> oh So, uh, like I said, I don't, I'm not a believer of this guy, but this guy's going to tell us all the shit that we need to know. And you have to discern what's real and what's not and what you need to be worried about. And there could be stuff that he's not even telling you about that you're worried about, you should be worried about. Anyways, motherfucker Carlson, Tucker Carlson, <laughs> he... He's talking to somebody, and who are they talking to? Doesn't matter. They're talking about illegal immigrants coming into the United States is at a larger number than the U.S. birth rate. That means that all of the generations to come after this aren't. It's all. It's all different. This is a. This is a one-time shot, and it changes everything and i'm not speaking from a, a white black hispanic or anything like that type of thing we're all people those people are from a different place and so are we everybody would argue but uh ah, okay i guess you know i really don't care who cares <laughs> it just changed my mind I don't care. I keep telling everybody that uh, that this is this is over. This whole thing is over. I don't know who's who's going to be paying for it. I mean, because are you really gonna are you really gonna sit there and say, "Oh, I, I don't want to drive an electric car. I want to drive this car that I've had that was handed down from." my parents or whatever this is a classic car i want to be able to always drive this car it's for fun it's for entertainment it's for whatever i deem fit because it's my car it's been owned by my family for for years and years and years it's totally paid for it's 100 percent paid for this thing whatever it does is producing you free whatever and oh you got to put money into it well yeah you have to put money into everything. So it's free. Because you don't have to put money into it. All you have to do is put your time. Come on, we're going this way. In the morning, in the first time out, we go this way. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, so I don't know. Who the fuck cares? But what's it gonna be like? This transition. All these people are gonna be sleeping in your streets and stuff. I mean, it's not safe. We're we're being changed. So I, I don't know. What's the right feeling? What do you guys feel like? Do you do you feel like it's a it's a great thing? people should be able to live anywhere they want because you know honestly I kind of feel that way but I'm not naive either I don't think it is that way I think that this is we're still under all the oppression that we've always been under this is just an attack on on our own well-being that's it's not even on our on our land or anything like that they're attacking our our well-being how how How's your ability to provide for yourself? Because it's getting harder and everything's getting more and more expensive. 
and you were gonna you were gonna you know not worry about it and, and take some of these handouts and things that were coming during this pandemic this pandemic that we had we just got done with we just got done with how do you just get done with it because everybody's still all fucked up in the head aren't you yeah so we're not done with it this shit's still going we're in the next phase of the pandemic. The next phase of the pandemic is to bring in a bunch of people to, to make the efforts of keeping your well-being at, a, at an optimistic level. It's going to thin it out. We're going to give money to all these people too. Well, of course, that's the right thing to do. These people are going to come and join our group. Are they? Because I, I don't see that. I see I see their own flags flying. I don't even see like a new flag, like United World flag or something. I don't even see that. It, there is no flag like that. <clears throat> what is it? The first person to make a flag? And let's just start a group. You wanna you wanna be one one love? Let's call it one love. One love and one blood one blood sounds cooler let's do one blood one blood <laughs> but then people will think because they've all been divided it's a racist thing but i just mean human blood humans so then uh, maybe if there is something else here I, i'm not saying there is but i heard there was I haven't seen them. I don't know. But if there is, or maybe we could have a fight. Maybe we could we could duke it out. I could meet you at the parking lot, and you could meet me there, and, and we could fucking duke this out. We'll duke it out. I don't really want to fight a lizard person because I kind of think they're gonna win. <laughs> but it, it's kind of a metaphor. Come on, let's go. Go pee right here, bro. We're gonna get ran over, hurry! <gasps> Come on! You're just a dog, they don't care. <coughs> hey, hey, hey. Why don't you go behind me? Let's talk it out with him. Go, go down this path that's coming up, and I'll go past you, and then you can walk behind as slow as you want. Do it right now, right here. Go over there. Go, Rue. Listen to me. You faggot. Okay, good boy. Thanks a lot. So, did you answer me yet? How do how do you feel about the people coming here? Because I don't, I don't, I don't know. Well, for one, where, where are they gonna live? Do you feel like everybody's being crowded into the city? Are all these people gonna go live in my woods? They better not go live in my woods, because the woods are over there waiting for me. Waiting, uh, Max. Come on. Is it is it bad enough yet? And I'm like, oh, no. nah, I can I can stand it still. I can still stand this. I'm coming though. Don't worry, Woods. I'm coming. But I can still stand it. I can I can handle this. Pressures. You see, people in my life haven't given up some of the things that I've tried to give up or started to give up and it drives us apart it's really sad I I constantly have deep decisions to make every day a good thing that you know you hear and you don't really pay much attention to Maybe you, 
you don't see it so you just think now nah, I'll, I'll keep doing it my way but everybody says don't come on that's a great spot just do it right there Don't tell. Don't don't tell anybody. Your feelings, what you want to do. I think there's a lot of people, and they probably do love you, but they're holding you back. Everybody is worried that you're gonna do better than them maybe that's why people don't want to like things that I say because I'm not like trying to be better but maybe everybody thinks well I, I'm always trying to be better but you know better than me because I'm already better than you guys <laughs> see that it comes out like that because I'm an asshole just because I'm the king shit in my own fucking world. This world is mine. You guys are in my world, right? And, and you would say the same thing to everyone else, wouldn't you? Because whose world are you living in? Whose world is this? You know? If it's, if it's looking through my eyes, it, it, it seems like... Well, I mean, honestly, if we were really honest, let's be really honest. And it seems like I'm freeloading in this world. Maybe if that's, come on, please, slow down. Why you do this to me? Living in somebody else's world, but it's because I don't take the things. But you see, I don't want to take the things. It's really a, convoluted thing. I think all of our minds are, are totally screwed up. And it's not like I'm proud to say that. But I'm, I'm proud to know it. I'm proud to know that I'm fucked up from these fucking people. Because if I was trying to ignore it and say that I wasn't, then, whoa, I'm not even walking. The dog's just pulling me on the ice. Look at this stuff. It's, like, it's not flat. It's really hard to walk on. You can just be taking a step down and it's not flat. And when you <laughs> do the weight transfer, it just goes the opposite way. Almost like somebody was kicking it out from underneath you. But I think to, to admit that you have a problem is, is like one of the steps to, to fixing it, to writing that problem, or to addressing. Let's just address it. Let's not fix it yet. Pile too much shit on there. I see a lot of movies about the people how we just live we live oppressed for a long time and then there's some group of people within the people that come out and then it's like all of the other people the the watchers the followers they they jump on after after something happens but it really doesn't seem like that's the way that it would happen in them in real life come on please don't pull you, we'd have, we'd have some big, some big movement, you know, us people that want a better life, us people would have some big movement, and the bad guys are the ones that describe everything to the masses, and so only the masses that were right there and saw it would know anything, and then they don't know the backstory because we haven't had a chance to give it to them. We can't tell them the backstory, and and the bad guys aren't telling them the backstory. And so we blow up something, or ah, that sounds stupid. Why would we blow anything up? Well, okay, we can blow up their 
their computer that that runs the world or whatever okay i, I don't want to hurt anybody but we can blow up their things all right we'll blow up their things but i'm not huh. you see now i could be labeled as some kind of radical person and that's not what i am so i don't know oh you don't need to blow anything up okay <laughs> I want to go back on that. I'm, well, I'm talking in movie sense. So anyways. The people wouldn't know. In the movie. Why why the, the radical people had to. Blow up the antenna that was keep making everybody a slave. There we go. I think I might have saved that. We'll see. <laughs> so they'd never know you'd just be some bad guy they'd be like the world's bad enough we're owned by these people and you have to be a bad guy you'd be like no uh i was doing it for you how are you doing it for me I'm blowing shit up <laughs> So really, it wouldn't be a very good way to handle things. But I mean, all right, maybe blow up. Let's. I think EMPs are from explosions. Maybe we could do it a different way. I don't know. We could just do an EMP. Shut the internet down. I dare them. I dare you guys. Break the internet. I dare you. I fucking dare you, bad guys. Shut down, shut down the internet. That'd be fucking hilarious. Because you know what? You shut the internet down and we're all going to talk to each other. <laughs> we're all going to talk to each other. It's going to be rough going in the beginning. Where we're all like, ah, can I trust him? Can I trust him? <clears throat> but your shit's gone. Your propaganda tool is gone. You can't, you can't get into our brains anymore. So, guess what? That's never gonna fucking happen. I'm not fucking worried about the internet going down. Some fucking EMP from the sun is gonna knock out all of the power. Well, yeah. I can see you guys doing that. But we'd still have internet. And people would still be making power. And you know it. People have generators. You know it. So everybody would do that and you'd just make it harder. Just make it harder and then... Uh, who cares? Well, what are you going to do? There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do about it. What you need to do, and what I need to do, what we all need to do, I'm not just telling you what to do, is learn how to do everything for yourself. You can still go to the store and get the seeds. I don't know what they're talking about like oh they're gonna own all the seeds and you can't do this and the farmers can't grow this or that i i don't know about that I, I, that sounds pretty pretty fucking radical and if, if that's the way then that's the way but i don't think it's i think it's what it is is you see there's two different stocks there's the stock that they make everything out of and then there's the stock that you have and it's it's like a lesser or maybe it's a more i don't know but it's not it's it's different than you know if you're planting tomatoes it's different than the tomatoes that they're planting at the thing you're not planting seedless tomatoes because that costs too much money and people think oh uh, what a luxury that is but seedless tomatoes don't make any more fucking tomatoes there's a there's all these things on on youtube where you could go and look around like oh i grew uh a pineapple from my my pineapple that i bought from the store i hatched a chicken from an egg that i, ha I bought at the store i mean all this weird shit like uh it has to be like a natural thing where it's it can make another thing strawberries those are seeds on the outside you know you want the seeds in your fruit because that's how it makes more fruit you're eating the babies of the plants i don't know speaking of plants my mom told me my mom told me that she saw an article where 
they're still doing testing on the, the plants and how they communicate. Look at that, it's a meteorite. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. They can like actually tell who's talking by the temperature or something in the, the waves, the microwaves. <laughs> microwaves. Bing, it's done. Dinner's ready. From the microwave? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're dead. We're already dead. Guru, do something exciting, man. Come on. Look at this dog. Tug of war. What the fuck is AE? Oh, I'm so sick of this. Whatever, it's gone. The phone's making its own light and it still can't even focus? Come on. iPhone, I'm just... I'm so fucking bored of complaining about iPhone. I'm just bored of it. Who the fuck cares? Alright, it's shitty. What are you gonna buy? Oh, an iPhone or a... A different shitty brand. Oh, I love that shitty brand. Don't talk about that brand. Yeah, but then later on in the day, you're using your fucking brand that you love, and you're gonna be like, man, why is it fucking doing this? Come on, oh, we quit pulling on me. Ugh. It gets tight. Oh, it's fucking. It's around my waist. <laughs> And it gets tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. It's like I'm wearing a fucking corset. Making me look like I got hourglass figure and shit. And then I see myself in the mirror and I'm like, Ah! I'm transgender! Come on! Now we're gonna get the people, oh, you yell at your dogs too much. Well, they don't fucking listen enough. If I hear that from anybody, anybody says I yell at the dogs too much, you're invited to get the fuck out of here, all right? I, do you think I want your fucking opinions? Well, I do ask for your opinions about something, but I don't ask, hey, do you think I yell at the dogs too much? Because when I talk to them really nice and sweet, they don't seem to fucking listen. You gotta yell. They gotta say, oh, yeah, he's serious. Okay. Yeah, I guess I will go over there because I, I do love him. And I know that he loves me because he treats me so fucking good. If you don't like the yelling, then don't do the thing. They can obviously... They can obviously handle the yelling because they know that it's coming. Because as soon as the yelling comes, then they do the thing. It's, it's like we've trained each other. For the ultimate time when they absolutely have to come back to me, that's the noise they hear. It's stupid, I know. But whatever. It didn't work the first time. When you call them nicely. I don't know. I'm not one of those people where it's like, hey, here's a treat. Oh, thanks for coming and seeing me. Here's a treat. Here's a treat. Here's a treat. <laughs> They're just going to do it because I fucking said so. Because I'm the fucking boss. And that's the way it goes. I see the dogs barking at each other all the time. They bark at each other. That's what you think. They're saying it nice. Hey, uh, get away from my food, please. Get away from my food, please. Yeah. Oh, I'd really appreciate it if you got away from my food. Oh, you're still here. All right. Well, please, please, please. Please, 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 please. That's not what they're saying. They're saying, get the fuck away from my dish, bitch. Move it. I'm going to bite your ass. You don't get the fuck away from my food. You're dead. That's what they're saying. I don't know for a fact, but boy, I'm pretty good at body language. Even dog body language. Especially if you're around the dog. 
all of its life. Yeah, I, I, I know what the dog is doing by the way it's holding its tail. That's the way they communicate too. Ooh. Or maybe I wish I wish I knew for sure. I'd like it if they had some kind of psychic thing. I'd like it if there was some kind of psychic bond between people and it's just been turned off. Wouldn't that be wouldn't that be awesome to find out that the whole world is pulling for us? You find out that all the plants and the trees are like, come on man. You could hear me. Why can't you hear me? You used to talk to me. You used to love me. I used to love you. We did things together. And now it's like, why are you cutting me down? You can't even fucking hear me. Ah, I'm screaming. And shit like that. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Could you imagine? What if you, what if you bargained with things? You bargained with the elements. They enjoyed. They enjoyed being productive. Wouldn't that be fucking crazy? That'd be fucking crazy. Everything's like, I just wanted to help the whole time. I just wanted to help. And you just kept attacking me. I just want I just wanted to be there for you. And you just kept attacking me. ego or whatever the fuck it is I see myself broken so much I see all you guys broken too so don't think I'm putting you you above me or anything like that I'm not below you we're all we're all in this together and I'm sorry if you can't see it Sorry if you can't see it. This is some major, major mental fucking bullshit. Major mental fucking bullshit. Nobody knows anything. They don't know what anything is. Nobody knows what anything is. There's groups of people faking things to the point where everybody fucking believes it. It's so fucking crazy. Whole fucking pandemics on things that that nobody fucking knows. Nobody fucking knows because the people there's some people that say that it's not real. There's some people that say it's real. There's some people that say it's not real, but it's it's got basis of realness. And <sighs> nobody knows. And then at the end of the day, we sit down and we think to ourselves about nothing. And the things that pop into our head are, this isn't even fucking real. The way that this stuff works, this is like a fucking story that I tell myself. Who knows? I might not even tell this story in whatever tomorrow is. Is tomorrow a tomorrow? There is no tomorrow. I just might stop telling this story. Is that death? Is that death? Do it do people even die? We say that when you destroy the body, that's your death. But we know that you can't leave here. And so we have to come back. You have to come back. There is no this is a prison. This is what you are. It's make-believe. For fun. I guess. I don't know. What if we didn't want to make-believe? But you see this... This meat bag is... A meat bag. It's a physical thing. In a non-physical place. It's, it's a story. You are a character in a story. And this is the land that the story is taking place in. The rules and the laws. Hey! Cut it out! Hurry up! Go!
falling into this thing where I I find myself saying I don't want to do it anymore and if I control the way everything is then I really could be harming myself I don't know but I'm not myself so I'm not I'm not gonna be scared I, I don't really care what happens to this meat bag but I gotta live with it and you it seems like you don't know come on what's gonna stop you but it could just change your like people don't die all the time sometimes you don't die and you just have this messed up life to live with <laughs> so you know don't fuck your body up you're stuck with it but I guess since it's not real we can just make your body better so fuck your body up I don't know I don't know, I don't know. We, we get mad at people and we want to kill them and make them go away so we never have to see them again but if if you can't do that it's just being mean to that person being aggressive to that person whatever they die and come back to somebody else <laughs> something else they come back to you How, did, how does that work? Could you imagine, like, you're not, there's a, whatever, billions of people. What if every time you go to sleep and you wake up, uh, well, I read my name, so. I guess other people can write their names too. <laughs> or can there be only one? They wrote on somebody else's property. I wrote it on public property. So I fucking win. I win the day again. Fucking A. You don't know me. I don't even know myself. You don't know me. Come on, Goru. Come on. Get away from the road. Come here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Okay, let's go. Walkies. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Weird fucking times. <sighs> Keep it to yourself, right? Yeah. I'm so sharing. I want to share. I don't know. I guess I'll go.